start by talking about red because that is the thing that seems to confound most women. What red looks best on me for lipstick, for blush, for clothes, for makeup? So we call these colors, uh, the kind of slang is tube colors. It means that that color just came straight out of the tube. Now, I, I'm also a makeup artist, so if I want to have those colors look nice as lipstick or blush, they need to become richer. One of the colors that really helps tone down those reds Oh. This is called raw umber. Not the prettiest color, but it makes colors warmer and richer. And I'll show you that. I'll put, mix it with a little bit of those reds. The, if I'm not going to go for um, a rich warm color, I'm going to go for more of a cool. Mix those paints with a, with a cool color. And if I'm working with a skin that is um, a little darker, Latino or even African American, the toner is going to be more into that rich, warmer, redder color. And if I want the color to be softer, it's going to be mixed with that. The very best lipsticks are the ones that have those toners that really add a little richness to them. So you can see this is sort of the evolution of how uh, we choose our reds, how our, um, how our makeup and uh, uh, colors are chosen. So why, what are we looking for when we look at a red? When you're holding up a red next to your face, what, you know, what are you watching for? You want to see your face, of course, look really smooth and glowing, and any imperfections really kind of fall away. And when I'm doing a color palette for someone, I'm holding up swatches, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Am I noticing dark shadows or lines or a little darkness over their lip, um, imperfections, or am I just not seeing that? Is it just their face just looking, having a nice, fresh, healthy blush? So when you are holding up some fabric, um, a sweater, a dress, in the mirror, look for that. Look and see if you look tired, if your face, if your face tends to be red and blotchy, if the redness is worsened. If, or if suddenly these things that sort of bother you are not so noticeable. That has a lot to do with the best red that you're wearing. The other color that's really wonderful to know about is what color are your eyes? So people think, oh, blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, but there's such a variation. The thing about wearing your eye colors is it brings everybody right to your eyes. They just, they just do that. They look at you, you know, and they, they lean their heads forward a little bit. So whereas red are, is a wonderful color to wear when you're kind of the center of attention or, or really want to create actually sexual magnetism, you want to really send the, the energy, that's what red is for. Eyes are when you want somebody to be more soulful, look right directly into your eyes and just in there, or if you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, if you're doing counseling or teaching, or you really want to win someone's trust, if you're wearing your eye color, they just can feel right to the soulful, more soulful place in you. If you're someone with um, green eyes, you can see how we start with this red, these eye colors, and then it really stretches out to an entire palette of colors. You can just start to train your eye, and that is the basis tenet for all art, is learning to see learning to look. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to look because we look like this. <laughs> I want you to pull your eye, your hands away from your eyes, which is really how people look at themselves in the mirror a lot because of just fear of what they're going to see. But the first step in, in really seeing is, is moving your hands. <laughs> That's number one.